Students at a charter school in the Bronx received the surprise of a lifetime from a music legend who also happens to be their school's co-founder. <laughs> this is very, very cool. Good day, Wake Up Anchor. Deshaunty Whitlow has, was there and captured all of that excitement. Deshaunty, I never had anyone like that show up at my school. <laughs> never. <laughs> Can you imagine Diddy being your co-founder, also being on the advisory board? Like, really? That's cool. Really cool. Insane. Well, nonetheless, so... Also, ladies, I want to ask you this as well. Do you remember when the entertainment mogul ran the New York City Marathon? Well, he ran to raise awareness about the school system, and he also raised $4 million and says he didn't feel the impact, which is why he started his own school. Hip-hop mogul and co-founder of the Capitol Preparatory Bronx Charter School surprised and inspired his students Tuesday. Here, we're teaching you all with intention to go out and to be leaders. Since donating $1 million to, dollars to the sure. school, which opened its doors in fall of 2020 during COVID, this is Sean this Combs' is first love. visit. This is truly the dream coming true, you know. Being, you know, in Forbes is, is, is not the dream coming true. Landing in the number 14th spot for one of the wealthiest entertainers this year. We built this school because we know that you're special. Opening locations in the Bronx, Harlem, and Bridgeport, Connecticut with Dr. Steve Perry, co-founder of the Capital Prep Magnet School in Hartford, which the schools are all modeled after. I think that, um, you know, there's always a lot of bureaucracy, but when it comes to the kids, the kids should come first. And instead of complaining about it, we wanted to do something about it. How did you develop your leadership skills? Okay. Um, I'm still developing my leadership skills. In the Bronx, where hip hop was born, the location staying true to its roots, putting on a performance for their advisor's hit song, Gotta Move On. Now, students see you, they see your success, yes. even though you didn't graduate from college. Yes. What's one takeaway you want them to always remember so they stay in school? I think, you know, that. In, in, in this life, that has to be a choice. Um, I think the most important part for us was our kids that were coming out of our communities, they weren't even ready to go to college. They weren't even educated enough to go to college. So we want them to be able to have that decision. And we're proud that 100% of our students um, go on to four-year college, get accepted to four-year colleges. Now the Bronx location serves more than 200 underserved students in 6th through ninth grade, expanding a grade each year to accommodate 700 students. Now, while the entertainment mogul is helping students, he's also making history on the charts with his son, King Combs. Right now, music is, is definitely um, what I'm focused on right now. I, I am working on some music, and I'm going to be dropping an album when it's finished. But I have a hit single out right now called Gotta Move On with Bryce and Tilla. And my son also has a hit single with um, Can't Stop, Won't Stop. And so we're the first father-son um, to be on the, in the top 10 of the chart. So we're making history out right now in music, having a good time, and also um, doing some for our communities. Interesting, you know, I, I know he grew up in Harlem. Yes. He went to Mount St. Michael Academy which was, I guess, uh, a, a school outside the public school system. He, he spoke about that. Yes. And then he also spoke about going to high school in the Bronx, which mm -hmm. is why it was such a full circle moment for him. And, and, you know, it's interesting because, you know, a lot of people don't have faith in the public school system. I guess he's one of them. He believes the char charter s schools in certain areas need to be embraced so that these kids can get out of school and be ready for college. And he spoke on that. He said, you know what? Instead of complaining, let's just be about it. Let's create it. Yeah. Let's put our money where our mouth is. Does he uh, have any plans to run a second marathon, maybe raise a couple more mills to fund another school? You know what's so funny, Bianca? He actually discussed that. He didn't talk about the marathon, but he said, hey, anyone that's out there who's wealthy and wants to help with these schools, hit them up. Mm. So he's looking for donations. I know. Right. I mean, because when you think about there are thousands of thousands of kids that graduate from high school from our system. That report just came out from the state. Which yeah. is terrible. How do we allow this to happen year after year and just say, oh, no, we're going to fix it. We're going to fix it. And you don't. Mm. Yeah. <laughs>
it's a ma major issue. It's one of them. And, and one last thing, that student who asked him about his leadership skills, he actually gave himself a grade C. He said, I'm passionate, but I'm learning. You need more love, and I'm also evolving and growing. So he was very open and honest I with like those students. I like that. It was a great, great experience C. for everyone. Hey, you know, C's get degrees.